Hello, today we are going to be taking a look at this absolutely beautiful, extremely cheap made USB LED light that I recently purchased. I've decided to go with this model because it was first extremely cheap and second it's got that extremely cool look that is mimicking like a real desktop light but in this tiny form factor so here is my head and you can see how small it is personally when i was buying it i do not have high expectations but when it arrives and i plug it in my expectation go through the scale so it is absolutely beautiful buy and let me present you that so here we've got a regular USB A cable that you can basically attach to virtually any power bank. I choose that unit because it is extremely low power unit and we can nicely plug it in and start our power bank. And as you can see it is not working, but do not worry, that's because we have not pressed the switch and our switch is located here and when we slide it like this this device became operational and most likely you can already see that we've got a really beautiful type of light because it is not a bluish green and also not very yellow i would say it is like a natural white so i really enjoy it here you can see the company, but I deeply believe this is something extremely generic that you can purchase from the AliExpress. That element here looks like cutout for phone, so it can be used as a phone stand. So imagine that you've got like a power outage and you can put here your phone and maybe while using OTG cable, you can also power it from phone. Maybe this is possible scenario. We are going to try it out because I've got OTG cable. So let me plug it here. I've got absolutely no idea will it work, but it is worth of testing. So we... it's working absolutely beautiful. Just take a look at this. This is crazy good. Yeah. Just take a look. Just take a look. I didn't rig it up. This is a pure joy. So just imagine that you've got like a power outage. And most likely, can we put the cable under? Yeah, maybe not all, but some of them, because here we've got like a cutout, if you can see. This is a good one. This is a really good one. Just take a look at this. This is a crazy good stuff. Hmm. Better than I was expecting. But okay, we have to go straight to the point. And the second use case is also extremely nice. Because if you take a look here, we've got the ability to change the angle. But at the same time, we can move it like this. And now what you've got, you've got a light that you can hang using this clip basically anywhere. So you can be like inside your tent and you've got that tiny light. This is a really smart device. And for the price, yeah, the price was crazy good. Let me try to disconnect some light and let's try to take a look how well does it work. But before of that, let's take a look. Here we've got the model number, just in case you would be interesting. And it's pulling 2.3 watt. You've got the dimensions. So yeah, this is a good one. Let me try turn off the light. And what's going on right now, I've got all light cut off and we've got set the same exposure. 
and you can basically read everything. Just take a look at this, and we are powering it from my Motorola Lex. Just take a look how beautiful it can be. I'm pretty, it is not described here. This is something that I came up with a pure, like a pure joke. Yeah, this is a good one. And let me check the options when we put it like up. And as you can see, it is giving a very nice light. This is absolutely beautiful item. And here you can see the light from the goal zero. Let me turn it on. Here you've got compare with the light from the goal zero power bank. So as you can see, this is the light that I do not like. This is the bluish one that I told you that I do not like. And I also do not like the very yellow. And this is a decent one. So as you can see, it's presenting really beautiful. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.